Fuck everybody. Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2021 Bowman Sterling Baseball six box half case break. Pick your team number one on release day. It's our first look on case breaks for it. So all card ship. Um, I'm excited. I love this stuff. Prospects, mostly rookies, prospects, um, and then some vets in some cases. But here's our full list of customers and their respective teams. Chris Maxwell and the Diamondbacks down to Mark Liebscher and the Nationals. If you see anybody with this little rooftop next to their name, like Richard Johansson there, that just means they won those teams in a team random filler, which was done right here. So you can see the results. That video was uploaded as well. Carrie got herself a box of 2021 Bowman Sterling ship sealed to her by being part of that. So thanks to everybody for getting in. And let's do this break. Um, here is that list in person. Well, that's true. But still, he's on the team, Rex. And since this is the first half of a fresh case, uh, we're going to pop this open. So we're going to pop this open, figure out which half of the case we're going to do. The second half of this is going to be for Pick Your Team 2, which will most likely go tomorrow with Jason. You've got six boxes on the left, six boxes on the right. Dice roll, one, two, three on the dice for the left boxes, four, five, six on the dice for the boxes on the right. There's my special dice. Let's see it. It's a six. So boxes on the right for us. Uh, these will be for Pick Your Team 2, so just so you guys know that these are all from the same case when we do Pick Your Team 2 tomorrow. I'm going to throw a two on there. Terrible two on the bottom, but whatever. It all counts. Cool, here you go. Lots of packaging on Bowman Sterling. Lots and lots of packaging. But, great looking cards. So, should be five autos per box. One autograph. Per mini box. Seriously, look out when they call it Brendan Davis and Miguel Amaya. No, I mean, that's the thing. Cubs have really good prospects, Rex, which is why, like, I really don't see why when you're like, oh, yeah, they might go after Marcus Stroman. That just seems like exactly what you don't need to do. You know what I mean? Like, rebuild from within again.
Don't be getting a, don't be going and signing a max contract on a, on a pitcher, you know. Especially a pitcher that like has shown that like he gets frustrated when his team is not contending and winning, you know. Like he's a very very vocal player. No. Yeah, no worries. No, I get that, but Rex, but what I'm saying is, like, if your team isn't going to contend, right, and you know that this is a very, like, outspoken player that wants to compete... Don't um don't go out and sign him right now. Like get your team in place. Use use the prospects you have and even though it's your pitching isn't great in the farm system, go pick up some like cheap one year, two year fillers. Like the Angels did this year, right? Angels didn't weren't supposed to compet contend again this year. So they didn't go out and do the big pitching signings. They just went and picked up, you know, a bunch of one year player contracts and now here we are. So that's why I'm like, don't, don't go out and sign this big name pitcher that's gonna be like all pissed off and you know vocal about it in your system when you're still trying to build up around it, you know. Uh, talking about the Cubbies. Okay. Yeah, I, I just don't. You know what I mean, though. It's kind of like you can you can do it, Rex, but it's like it's like putting the lipstick on a pig. It's still it's still a pig in the end of the day. Yeah. Like, if you're going to suck and you're not going to contend, you might as well suck and not contend, you know?
Rex, I'm kind of rooting for uh, the AL to end in a four-way tie for the wild card spots. I'd like to see this, like, anarchy situation happen. Uh, you know? Some people just want to watch the world burn. I think that would be so exciting. Because then you'd have, what, two play-in games to get into the wild card to have a one-game one play-in? Or no, two one-game play-ins to get into the wild card spots? Ugh. Or would there be like a two-game, like a, like a, a round-robin? Three game series with like double elimination. Right? So every play every team has to play each other. I would be affixed to the T V for like those that that game those two games. Two days or three days. I know, Rex. I know. Honestly, I just want to see the Cardinals get in and take the Dod take the Dodgers out in one game. That would be the funniest shit ever to me. Can you imagine Joe like their team winning like a hundred and what? What are they at? Like a hundred and six games this year or something like that? Potentially, and then one game loss. <laughs> oh, I would be so happy. <laughs> I told Joe, I was like, I was like, oh, dude, if that happened, I was just like, can you imagine that? I mean, offer, that would be hilarious. I was like, you guys would, you guys would have also not made the playoffs, just like the Angels. <laughs> I didn't know you were listening. I thought maybe you were sleeping or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oliver, I said what I said. Oh, he, Joe, he was saying it the other night. He's like, that would totally be us, though. He's like, win 106 games and lose a one-game play-in. Oh, yeah. That would be... I mean, honestly, that would be so brutal. That would be the worst way. That's like the worst way to go. Take the one, of the, take the whole thing. I, I'm done. I'm okay. good. Just have six. Thank okay, you cool. so much. No worries. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying, Oliver. But remember, last year's title doesn't count. It wasn't a real year. That wasn't a real, real baseball season. See? I like you, Oliver. <laughs> so it pains me to say that. So there's a reason your trophy's only half the size of the regular trophies. Yeah. Oh, that was shitty to see Clayton Kershaw in that press conference today, though. That's sad. You never like to see that. Huh? Well, yeah, no, he said, he said it's not looking good for October. And remember, he's a free agent. Yeah, that's exactly. He Well, he walked off the mound holding onto the baseball. He didn't give it to Dusty Baker. Or not Dusty Baker, shit. Uh, Dave Roberts. So I think he knows. 
Like that was probably his last outing pitching. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent Oliver. But like, you know, you don't want to compare yourself to the Angels. Nobody wants to compare themselves to the Angels. That's the saddest, saddest franchise, middling around in obscurity with two of the top five players in the league on their team at the same time. Just the worst. Good luck, guys. Mount Castle for the Orioles, Roy LaPorga. God, this looks so good. Patrick Bailey, Giants. This is my first in-person look at this stuff. This looks incredible. Uh, Chris Walker and the Giants on our first auto. Andrew Vaughn, White Sox. Kerry Macias and Logan Gilbert to 75 for the Marlins. Sorry, Mariners. Chris Maxwell and Jose Salas for the Marlins. Franklin McKenzie. And Asa Lacey for the Royals. Richard Johansson. And you got a Bobby Miller refractor parallel autograph for the Dodgers and Kerry Macias. And Tyler Soderstrom to 150 for the A's and Travis Melbourne. Beautiful cards. You gotta be a little bit worried, Oliver. Especially like losing Kershaw now. What's the rest of your pitching rotation look like right now? Uh, I don't think so, Rex. I, I, I don't know exactly all the ins and outs of that. That's for, for bigger bigger people than me. Scherzer, Bueller, Urias? Urias? Okay. Pache for the Braves. Richard Johansson. And nice. This is an old uh, retro rookie. Aaron Judge. That's out of 25. That's really cool. Yankees. So this is a reproduction of his rookie. Uh, New York Yankees. That is Travis Melbourne. I like that a lot. Hyun Il Choi for the Dodgers. Kerry Macias. And Dalton Varsho to 199 for the Diamondbacks. Chris Maxwell. Jordan Walker, big prospect for the Cardinals. Roy LaPorga. Bobby Dahlbeck for the Red Sox, Josh Proust and Matt Manning to 75 for the Tigers, Zach Wynn, Bryce Jarvis for the Diamondbacks, Chris Maxwell, Christian Pache, Braves, Richard Johansson, and Yoelfui Cespedes, White Sox, Kerry Macias, Andrew Vaughn again for the White Sox, Kerry Macias, and Jose Tena. For the Indians and Adam Richards. Pre lockdown? Oh, okay. And then once you get into the playoffs, you can kind of use like a four man rotation. Not for long, but at least to get you through the first, you know. And it usually works too if like if you can work yourself out to like a obviously like a three three game lead or something like that for your for your fifth like your fifth point starter you can just do a bullpen game or throw somebody in there to eat innings just to give everybody else an extra day yeah exactly Yeah, and if you get, like I said, if you get a sizable lead, like a three nothing lead or whatever, and you're on that um, on that fifth starter day, 
you could uh, just throw out a bullpen day or something like that just to get get through. Yeah, gold to 50, Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees, Travis Melberg. Uh, it said forearm, I think it was forearm tightness or something like that, Oliver. Is that what it was? Uh, Jared Schuster for the Braves, Richard Johansson. He he openly said, Rex, it's not looking good for him for the rest of October. So. Um, I doubt that the team lets him come back. Kohei Arihara to 199 for the Rangers. Scott Rakufus. Bueller, Urias, Scherzer for series after wild card. Gabriel Arias for the Indians. Adam Richards. Well, because you have Scherzer going the wild, you have Scherzer throw the uh, the the wild card game, right? Almost guaranteed. And Angel Martinez for the Indians. Adam Richards. And you got an orange auto of Cade Cavalli to seventy five for the Nationals. Mark Liebscher. God, these things look so good. This is such a great design. And Heston Kerstad for the Orioles. Roy Laporga. Uh, I did not see that, Rex, but I'm not surprised either. That that would be cool, Oliver. Honestly, like, what, can you imagine if uh, if you guys go deep enough, if his last start is just like a, fi a game... Like, uh, you guys are up 3 nothing in a series or whatever, and it happens to be, like, your fifth starter day, and you just throw him in there just to eat up some innings. I think that'd be pretty cool. Just give him a better, a better send-off than today, you know? Yeah, I don't know, Rex. I mean, a little bright bright burst at the end of the season, you know? Go out with a bang, not a fizzle. Pache for the Braves. Richard Johansson. And you got Tanner Houck. A little silver wave to 125 for the Red Sox. Josh Proust. Kobe Mayo sparkle auto to 99 for the Orioles. Roy Laporga. And Taylor Trammell, Refractor to 199 for the Mariners. Chris Maxwell, Little Silver Wave Auto to 125. Reed Detmers for the Angels. Joe P. And Joe Dell for the Angels. Joe P. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. Roy Laporga. And Cole Henry for the Nationals. Mark Liebscher. And Nick Bitsko for the Rays. Tyler Wemmer. Do you think Kershaw will be re-signed by the Dodgers? Oliver, do you re do you really think he'll come back? I don't. I think he'll go out as a, as a Dodger. I don't think he'll pitch for another team ever. I think he I think so badly that he might honestly. Um, I honestly hope that he goes like vet minimum money just to stay on the Dodgers, whether it's bullpen or whatever. I don't think he wants to go anywhere else. I know, I know. But yeah, I think I think he either re-signs the Dodgers on a really cheap contract, or he doesn't pitch ever again. He doesn't ever go anywhere else. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he wants to go anywhere. That's what I'm saying. I think he would take a very, very cheap deal. Ooh, nice red. Robert Hassel. Like that. Padres. Uh, Joe P. And right behind that, a gold auto of Zach Veen to 50. That's nice. You got an Atomic to 10, 7 out of 10. Luis Patino Auto. What a, what a box. 
already. And you got a re is that not a redemption? No, it's not a redemption. Jake Vogel for the Dodgers. Kerry Macias again. Alex Kirilov for the Twins. Carlos Aguirre. Tyler Stevenson, the 199 for the Reds. Kerry Macias and Yolbert Sanchez for the White Sox. That is Kerry Macias. Reds out of five, Joe. Robert Hassel, that's out of five. Alec Bohm for the Phillies. Chris Maxwell and Cronenworth for the Padres. Joe P. You got Jared Kellenick. Oh, that's right. Tops is not giving him a rookie logo until next year. No, I think Update is his first rookie. Joey Bart to 199 for the Giants. Chris Walker and Carmen Blodzinski for the Pirates. And Richard Johansson. Alec Bohm again. Phillies. Chris Maxwell. Cronenworth again. Padres. Joe P. See, you see, out of five, right up on top there for you. He's pretty good too. Hey Evan, could I ask one favor of you? If you have a a thing of just like even an open one of just regular top loaders, can you bring it over? I'm like gonna end up like five short or six short in this break. Uh, did they, Joe? I pulled. I think you're right. No, you know what? They are. You are right. Because he actually has. He has rookies in Topps Chrome too, but he only has super short print. Thank you, sir. He only has super short print and the auto. That is really weird. Why didn't they give him a rookie logo in this then? What are you doing? No, I'm almost positive you're right. Whoa, Oliver, are you throwing that ac accusation out against Justin Verlander? You got Nick Lofton, Silver Wave to 125 for the Royals, Richard Johansson. And Nick Gonzalez, nice one there for the Pirates. Richard Johansson, I'm actually looking forward to talking about O'Neill Cruz, Rex. I'm looking forward to Nick Gonzalez coming up. You got K. Brian Hayes for the Pirates, Richard Johansson. And Kevin Alcantara, Yankees. Travis Melbourne. Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins. And Franklin McKenzie and Spencer Howard to 99 for the Phillies. Chris Maxwell, Kobe Mayo. Orioles, Roy LaPorga. Bobby Dahlbeck for the Red Sox. Josh Pruce. Christian Javier to 199 for the Astros. Chris Adams. And Luis Patino to 150 for the Rays. To finish it off, Tyler Wemmer. And there you go, guys. That's our six boxes. <clears throat> no, I get you, Oliver. I get you. So that's the first half of the case. Very nice six boxes, guys. Um... Obviously, rookie autos, heavy or heavy on prospect autos, which is what you're looking for. Um, but this set looks great in person. This is my first in-person look at it. Um, it looks even better, like, up close and even than through the camera. So, uh, second half of this Pick Your Team 2 is in the store. Likely we'll go with Jason tomorrow. But don't uh, sleep on this product, guys. This is some really nice stuff. And we have a really good price on it, too. So. so there you go. That was the break. Thanks to everybody for getting in. That was 2021 Bowman Sterling Baseball 6-Box Half Case Break. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.